fortunately, it was on defense, and you know, as I'm playing, so I'm just glad I'm able to do that. And how much more comfortable do you feel now compared to even before Minnesota? Uh, a lot more comfortable. You know, getting sorry I lost my voice, y'all, but you know, getting these three games under my belt has definitely helped with uh, some experience. You know, I still got a long ways to go, but it's definitely helped. You guys, as a defense, are running. You guys went for that two out safety look. We talked about that after the game the other day and stuff. How much further along are y'all in that concept and, and just kind of regrouping, et cetera, and moving on uh, this week? I mean, what, what do you feel is different this week, you know? Uh, I mean, I don't want to give away the game plan or nothing yeah. like that, but I think just more reps in that uh, that two high shell and uh, just learning more, getting the ins and out of it definitely helps. And do you like that? I mean, you, you seem uh, to play. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm a versatile guy. You know, whatever the uh, coaches want to throw at me, I'll feel like I can take. How does, it change, how does it change things for you? I mean, having to go back and forth during a game. That's not something that maybe a lot of guys are asked to do. As far as what? kind of having to move back and forth as far as like whether you're back, whether you're more of a uh, it doesn't change anything at all. I just like being on the field. So if I'm on the field, I'm, I'm straight where I'm at. Uh, Cody Simon said you guys are trying to get just a little sharper and your like underneath zone drops and like, okay, some of that. Um, What's the challenge there? I guess like making sure your space is right, making sure your landing marks are right. Um, yeah, does it just take reps? And yeah, it takes reps. Uh, you know, we like to play a lot of vision on the quarterback. So just playing vision on the quarterback, being able to set, you know, when he's set. And uh, melting wind is what we call it. But just moving when he moves, just following his eyes is something that can be a challenge. But uh, I think we've been repping it a lot, and I think we'll be, we'll be good on it. What, I mean, how hard is that sometimes when you, you are, you're, you're watching the quarterback, you're keying off of him, but obviously he's trying to make you move somewhere. So you're trying oh, to move yeah. Like, when, when to take that bait. It's definitely a challenge, but uh, I think you just got to go back to film. Uh, you know, sometimes you're able to kind of not guess, but just uh, kind of anticipate some route uh, concepts that the uh, that that offense gives you. So it's just a, a matter of both, you know, getting that quarterback feel and then the, uh, the route recognition as well. What role does the Ohio State pass rush kind of give you guys in terms of whether it's developing from the back? I mean, do you kind of hope for a little more time to or a little bit more of a rush throw from the quarterback or kind I of mean, what's the relationship there yeah i mean any i think uh any secondary guy would say that you know as much rushes to the quarterback is, is better just you know making that quarterback feel uncomfortable maybe you know whether that's getting the ball out earlier than he wants to or just throwing that timing off with him and his uh receiver so yeah definitely the, the more rush the better always what do you think it is that you guys need to do to where you can play that complete game where you're able to shut a team down both against the run and against the pass uh, I think it's the details for us. You know, we watched the film and then uh, we're like this close from, you know, you know, that big play where something shouldn't have uh, went wrong. So we just got to, you know, laser laser focus on the details and just make sure our assignments are right. Do you feel like you know, you're seeing that in practice where guys are paying more attention to detail each week? Yeah. Um, you know, we had a, a lot of guys that didn't have that much experience last year. So, you know, we're still all, you know, learning, getting those, you know, crinkles out. And I think we're getting better as the year goes on. How much more comfortable do you feel now that you have three games where you've played a lot? More coming into the season where you really hadn't played much at all? Uh, I kind of answered that earlier, a lot more comfortable. You know, those three games has definitely helped. And uh, like I said, I still got a long ways to go, and so does my teammates. Is there a pressure? Uh, you, you mentioned that balance between the pass and rush defense. I mean, is there a pressure being the last non conference game to kind of, you know, work it through before kind of these games matter to get to Indy? Or, or what? Is there a pressure on this defense to kind of figure it out, or, or where is that at? Uh, I mean, you know, there's a standard uh, that's been held, you know, by the by the greats that have come before us, especially the guys on defense. So yeah, uh, there's definitely a standard, and uh, you know, we want to set that standard and if not exceed that or uh, surpass that standard. So yeah, there is a standard. Yeah, can I ask you a technical question, sort of? When a team gets out on a, like a wide bunch formation or inverted bunch, like they did the other day, and kind of catches a couple of guys in the in the pick in the pick zone as I like to call it but uh, what, what do y'all work on there what 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 do y'all you know what what is the defensive backs uh, what are, I mean I, I can't really give you our no but don't give me that but I mean but you don't want guys <laughs> running into each other you know what yeah, I mean I would think y'all ripped that this week a bunch and stuff but what is sort of like key for a defensive back to to do there uh, I mean you know, we just try to play on different levels and then go on the field and stuff like that yeah